Hey everyone, welcome back. Kelly here. This month we're going to explore a printmaking technique called monoprinting. Monoprints are a unique combination of painting and printmaking. Monoprints are individual, one-of-a-kind prints that cannot be reproduced or replicated. We're also going to learn about two different types of monoprinting techniques, additive and subtractive. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the kids and get started. All right, well, I'm here with my two favorite artists once again, Rhapsody and Aslan. Say hi, guys. Hi. And today, guys, we're going to be creating monoprints. What are those? Monoprints are a really unique type of printmaking. And both of you have a printing plate right in front of you. Ooh. And you're going to use the paint right here okay. to paint a beautiful picture. And once your picture is complete, we're going to create a print of it. All right? Oh, and this, oh. this particular, uh, we're going to make two prints today. And this yeah. first one is called an additive monoprint. Additive. Additive means we're going to add paint. Ooh. Mm -hmm. and, add. and then we're going to create a print of that. So mom and dad, the kids are gonna need a little bit of water and paper towels at the table to help them with this. And we do know about rinsing our brush off between colors, right? Because we don't wanna mix the colors. That's right, we wanna keep the colors separate. That's right. So you guys wanna get started? Because if we mix the colors, we won't have the colors we want. That's true, that's true. So you wanna keep your colors nice and clean and separated. We can wash in here and then brush it around. That's right. All right, you guys are pros. Are you ready to get started? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and paint a beautiful picture. Okay. Okay, well the kids have finished their paintings and now it's time to print. It's very important to keep your painting time under 10 minutes um, or else the paint will actually start to dry up a little bit and it'll be difficult to get a really nice print from. So I'm gonna help you guys with this part, all right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna lay the paper down very gently right on top of your painting plate, don't move it. And then gently with your hands, uh, just kind of Smooth out the paper very, very gently, and don't don't slide the paper around. Just gently smooth it with your hand. Very good. Okay. Is this good. Can I peel it off? Very good. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's let's go ahead and we'll do yours first, Rhapsody. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna ready. peel from the top. Oh wow! Look at that. It's a double design. That is a monoprint. Isn't that exciting? Uh -huh. It's a double design without painting it. That's right, exactly. It's a combination of printmaking and painting. Are you ready this, to lift yours this off? This looks really cool. It looks like vines. Mm -hmm. Little vines. Look, it's cool. mine. Okay, Aslan, peel yours from the top and let's see what yours looks like. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> How cool is that? I think that's pretty. It looks like a lake and a land and grass. It looks like a lake and grass and it's really pretty. All right, so do y'all see um, how cool this technique is? Yes. Now, you can't print another one just like it. This is a unique one-of-a-kind print. But a lot of artists like to embellish their mono prints after they've dried. So if you want to come back after these have had a chance to dry with a marker or a pen and add any yeah. details, you could. Or you can just leave it just like this. I like how it is. Perfect. Are you guys ready to learn the negative or the subtractive technique? Subtractive. Mm -hmm. Subtractive, you know what subtraction is, right? Yeah. What does subtraction mean? Minus the 
taking the number from another number. Yeah, taking, yeah. that's like right. Like you have two, take away one is one. That's yeah. right. So the first printing we did, we added paint. Now we're going to do a technique where we subtract paint and we take paint away. So are y'all ready to learn this one? Yeah. Okay. First thing we're going to do is take one of your napkins, just a little bit, and let's clean off your printing plate. Okay? Ooh, and are we going to do another one? Mm -hmm. We're going to do another one. We can use the same printing plate. Oh. All right. Well, now that our printing plates are clean, they can be reused again and again and again. Uh, we're going to do the negative or subtractive technique. So what I want for you to do right now is, is use your fingers to finger paint a nice coat of paint all okay. over your printing plate. Okay. All right? This is washable tempera paint and it's a wonderful type of finger paint to use. Yay! Okay, go ahead and get started. Okay. Okay, and remember like last time, you have to be fast and quick with it. You can even use like three fingers and just kind of rub the paint all over. You don't want to do as much design work this time, Rhapsody, because you're going to do your design with the Q-tip. Alright guys, so now comes the fun part. You've coated your boards with a nice, good, heavy coat of paint, and we're going to do the negative part of the technique now. Negative and subtractive mean to take away. So here's your drawing tool, and here's your drawing tool, and you can draw a design now. And as you draw, the cotton swab will actually take away paint from your printing plate. Okay, so we are ready to print now. Our printing plates are painted and designed. So just like the first time, we're gonna lay a sheet of paper down right on top, very gently. You wanna smooth that out, Rhapsody? I'll do this. Sure, Aslan, here you go. Okay, and smooth it gently. So, okay. we'll go ahead and lift this up. <gasps> My clownfish! Wow! My look clownfish. at that! Isn't that oh, kind of cool? It looks like a whole undersea world. Oh yeah! Whoa. Wow! That's Turn it over and look cool. at it. <gasps> That's so cool! Whoa. Can you see your picture? That is really cool, Aslan. And look, prints, mono prints will always print in the reverse of the way that you draw them. So see how your the letters of your name kind of came out backwards. Now you can stand in front of a mirror and see it the way that you did it originally. All right, well that was so much fun. So remember, this was our additive mono print, right? And why was it additive? Uh, because we added paint, not subtracted paint. That's right. And then the prints that you just did, let's hold them up and let everyone see them. These are our subtractive monoprints. And why is it subtractive, Aslan? Because you, you like, took away some of the paint to make your stuff on it. That's right, Aslan. It's uh, subtractive because we used our cotton swab to remove paint and take it away. Well, we've had so much fun. We hope you'll join us again. See you next time. Wee!